Uh, continuing on with our uh, building a website from start to finish series, we're going to continue cutting up our graphics and getting them ready for the web. In the last video, we, we already cut up some of them, and now we're going to cut up a few more, and we might even hop into Dreamweaver uh, before this uh, part is over. What we're going to tackle next is we're going to get some of this text here. And normally, um, as often as possible, I would take advantage of just using the HTML text. Um, but in this case, for these headers here, we have some subtle effects on them, uh, which can't necessarily be done with just basic HTML and CSS. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make images for these headers here. So let's zoom out. Let's turn our uh, header text back on for the basic plan bucket there. And what we're going to do, and this can be a little tedious, but we're going to turn off the header backgrounds for each one of these really quick. And we're going to need to turn off the bucket background as well. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on one of these. And let's go ahead and we're going to get a lot of this. We're going to go ahead and highlight or uh, make our marquee box about this big here. And that way we know that we can get um, each one of these in because some of them are a little longer than the other. All right, and now that we've got this here with our info palette out here, we can see how big this is. So let's go ahead and do a control N. And let's create a document that this, that's about the same size. So 227 by 52. And we'll go ahead and name this one this time. We'll call it um, bucket header text. Say OK. And then let's come back to our template here. And we'll, we'll go ahead and copy this control shift. C, copy merged, and uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to paste it. And we'll go ahead and name this in good form. And let's go ahead and drag this tab over, assuming you're using the same version of CS uh, Photoshop. Let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit so we can see another. bucket here. And we can go ahead and just, with our marquee tool selected, we can just move the box. And as long as we've got everything in there, let's go ahead and copy merged again, control shift C. Come back over here, control V to paste it. Go back to our template, move this over to the deluxe plan, control shift C over here, paste it, control V, and get our unlimited plan, control shift C, control V. All right, and let's go ahead and zoom in on this. And let's go ahead and zoom in on this and zoom out a little bit. Alright, and what we're going to do is make some guides here. Um, and the way you do that is simply come over here to your ruler here. And if your rulers aren't selected, um, you can come up to View and click Rulers or Control R. And once on the ruler, you'll see your cursor turn back into an arrow. You can just click and drag and it'll pull a guide out. And we're going to put it right about here. And we're going to do the same up here. Pull this down, give ourselves a little more room because we've got um, a Y in some of that text we need room for it to drop. So let's go ahead and name these really quick.
And we'll go ahead and turn off the top three or four here. Or three, sorry. And let's move this basic plan. Hold down control. Let's just get our marquee tool and hold down control and drag it. And we'll get it right about here. And let's actually, we'll put the text on the line and let the drop shadow hang off. And we'll use this as our guide for the next ones. Let's go ahead and turn that one off and turn on the economy plan and we'll move this over. And it looks like we're going to need to... Let's actually move it up, and because we want to get that drop shadow on the Y too, and we're going to lose it if we go to stick to what we just did with the basic plan. So let's hold down Control, and if you hover right over your guide, you can move it up. So let's just go ahead and move this up to touch the uh, text here. Looks like we need to move up just a little more. There we go. So let's hide economy, come back to basic. We'll hold down control, and if we hold down shift, it'll keep it kind of in line. And there we go. So now let's go to our deluxe plan. And let's do the same over here. And in the unlimited plan. And now we're good to go. Let's go ahead and view all of them. And actually, now we can see where the longest one ends here. Let's go ahead and get our crop tool, which is uh, if you hit the C key. And let's go ahead and run that box about yay big here. And go ahead and hit enter if you're comfortable with it. And now what we're going to do is turn off our background. We're going to hide the first three here. Just have our basic plan. And let's go ahead and save this for the web. So Control Shift Alt S. And this is going to be a PNG, and we're going to say save. And what we'll do is just add on to this with an underscore and just call this basic plan. And really quick, the reason why I did the this these two words a little differently without the underscores is it allows me to visually decipher the two. The first part, the or you would call the prefix, the bucket underscore header underscore text. Um, tells me what this is for and then the basic plan is kind of the label and by by not putting the underscore and just doing an uppercase it helps me uh, decipher that a little better if that makes sense so let's go ahead and save and we're gonna hide this and show the economy plan do the same thing and I'm gonna fly through this now here because you should already know what you're doing Okay, now those are done. Let's go ahead and we're going to get one more thing out of here before we start going into Dreamweaver. Let's get our marquee tool, select off of that. Get our hand tool, pull it up here. Let's close our buckets or collapse that group and open up our header. Let's turn our text back on here. And again, with this text, it's we've got some styling on here. So let's go ahead and we're going to make this an image. But we're going to hide the background here. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Get our marquee tool, select about like that. Go ahead and control shift C, control N for new, control V. We'll hide our background so we can see the, the and let's go ahead and save this. Control shift alt S. It's going to be a PNG, and we're going to call this the header logo and now let's go back over to Dreamweaver and take a look at what we've already done we've set up a lot of of our document here if we 
go to design view. We haven't done much yet with the, we haven't done anything really with the CSS besides just setting it up and getting it ready for us to go, go ahead first into it. So let's go ahead and first, I'm going to bring my file panel back over here. and expand our images here so we can kind of see our images and let's go ahead in the body and let's declare the background image and we'll go ahead and just do browse it's easier we'll go to the images folder we'll get our um, body background here and, and you know it's easy to figure out because it says BG and we knew that's body or the background so and get that and close that line with a semicolon. Now, if you look over here, you know, by default it's auto automatically going to repeat. However, it's going to repeat both X and Y axis. So what we want to do is we want to do background repeat. And we just want it to repeat on the X axis across. Now this gives us this white down here, and that's not what we want, but now we do have it going all the way across. And that's why we only did a sliver. We only did a, a one pixel because now it can go all the way across. If we told this to not repeat or do no repeat, and you're not even going to see it because it's just a small line right here. So that's the benefit. We're saving some some space by and load time by only loading the image once, and the browser will repeat it. there's that. Now let's flip over to Photoshop again and come back over to our background and we had that color selected so it's E4, E4 and we could either come in here and copy this or just remember what it was and come back over to Dreamweaver and do background color do our pound sign, number sign, paste that code, close the line and now we've solved our problem down here. It's seamless. Now what we do want to do really quick is set the positioning. Background attachment, we're going to make it fixed. We may change that later depending on how it looks. And for the position, what we're going to do is we're going to say top. And that's all we really need to do because it is just a repeated gradient. Let's go ahead and save that. And when we come back, we'll work on some, some more CSS.